Alright guys, one minute project back again in here for another video for you guys for today. And in here for my Money in the Bank 2010 review. And I gotta say, this was a good pay-per-view. Uh, you know, with the last pay-per-view with uh, Victory Road. And I wasn't too happy with that, but Money in the Bank seemed to deliver. Uh, at least I thought in my book. So, uh, you know, I'm very impressed with this pay-per-view. And, uh, you know, we had a few matches on the card with about seven matches. And, uh... You know, this was pretty good, so let's gonna get on right into the review. And uh, with the first match was the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match. And uh, this was a good opener to kick off the show with the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match. We saw good spots in this match. Uh, we saw, uh, you know, an epic boom trap by Kofi Kingston in this match. Uh, we saw the, you know, the ladder, uh, the big ladder that the Big Show has. Uh, he brought that into this match as well. Uh, we saw uh, everybody just taking out the Big Show and throwing all the ladders on top of him. Uh, we saw the electric chair by Dolph Ziggler in this match and the sleeper hold onto the top of the ladder as well. Um, we saw at one point where they teased like where Christian and Matt Hardy was about to win. And when you thought they were, either one of them was going to win, uh, but that didn't happen. They both fell off the top of the ladder. So uh, that was pretty cool in that one as well. Uh, but in the end, uh, Kane ends up winning this match with a choke slam uh, to uh, Drew McIntyre off the top of the ladder. And Kane is the winner. That's right. Kane is the winner of the Money to Bake ladder match. And basically, I got my prediction right. I did either have Christian or Kane, and it ended up being Kane, which is good on that one. So Kane is the Money in the Bank winner for the SmackDown side. So uh, that's very good on that one. So that was a good uh, SmackDown. Money in the Bank, I do have to say about that. And the next match we got here is a Divas title match. Uh, Alicia Fox versus Eve Torres. And this was an okay match. Uh, you know, they did pretty well. Uh, Eve, uh, her back was pretty hurt during this match. But we saw, you know, the some sort of flips and stuff like that from Eve. Uh, Alicia Fox doing a little better in this match too. Uh, from their previous match, which was uh, basically a five second match. But this one did pretty well. Uh, Alicia Fox ending up retaining her title with the scissors kick uh, to Eve Torres on this one. So that was an okay match. So not that bad. Um, then we got into the Unified Tag Team Championship match between the Art Dynasty and the Usos. And you know this, I enjoyed this match as well. Uh, the Usos doing their best here in this match. Uh, we saw the Samoa drop as well here on this with the Usos. Uh, we saw... Uh, you know, that move that Rikishi does with the uh, running headbutt, something like that. I don't remember what the move is called, but when you run uh, into the turnbuckle, uh, so he, we saw that in that match. Uh, we saw uh, also a couple of submission moves in this match as well. Uh, we did get to see the uh, Heart Dynasty retain their tag team championships against the Uso, so I got that prediction right as well. Uh, D.H. Smith got the sharpshooter on one of the Usos, so uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, we also saw a little interference by Tamina and Natalia. Uh, Natalia, I think she got a small and dropped, I believe. Uh, I, I'm not sure if she did that or not, but I know that Natalia got a takedown on Tamina on that one as well, so that was pretty cool too. Uh, also, the next match uh, was for the world title match. I didn't see a whole lot of this match. Uh, but it was against Rey Mysterio and uh, Jack Swagger for this one. Now, I, I picked Rey Mysterio to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. And I believe that's what happened. Uh, but then we see a cash-in. That's why right. somebody cashes in uh, in this night on the Money in the Bank and ends up being Kane. And Kane gets, I believe, a choke slam onto Rey Mysterio and is the new. That's right. Kane finally wins the World Heavyweight Championship and now is a two-time world champion, so hopefully he gets a decent title ring with that. Uh, you know, yeah, I saw this coming basically, so that's a good thing with that. Uh, so Kane is the new world heavyweight champion, and not Rey Mysterio or Jack Swagger, so uh, that's pretty good on that one, and I actually am happy with that, so uh, I think, you know, Kane deserves it, so we'll see what happens with that. It's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, then we get into the Raw side and the Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, with this, uh, you know, we had Randy Orton in this match. We had Mark Henry, uh, The Miz, and Evan Bourne, just to name a few. And I didn't really see too much of this match, but 
I don't think it was a pretty good match. Uh, you know, I was impressed with the latter matches. And, uh, you know, to me, I like the SmackDown uh, Money in the Bank ladder much more. Uh, but my pick for this match was originally Randy Orton for this match. Uh, even though it was probably not going to happen, and it didn't happen. But The Miz, that's right, The Miz is now not only the United States Champion, but the Money in the Bank winner for the Raw side. So, uh, you know, kind of shocking in a sense, but we'll see how... Uh, what's going to happen with this? It's going to be interesting to see where this goes. Uh, that's for sure. So uh, maybe the Mets will lose the U.S. title and hold uh, the money in the bank. And uh, we'll see how long it's going to take him to uh, cash in. Of course, Kane cashed in his money in the bank to become the world champion, like I said early on. So we'll see what happens. Uh, that's uh, basically what happened with that. Uh, the Women's Championship with uh, Layla and uh, Kelly Kelly. I didn't really see too much of this on either. Um, but, you know, the Divas Championship match wasn't bad, so I'm sure this wasn't too bad either. Uh, with Kelly Kelly, um, I picked her to, uh, become the new Women's Champion in this one, but I was wrong. Uh, Layla is still the Women's Champion and retains her title against, uh, Kelly Kelly, uh, with that. So, um, you know, which is okay, so I couldn't really care less, but that's fine, uh, with that. Uh, then we get into the main event here with the steel cage match between John Cena and Sheamus. Now this was pretty good. Uh, we had uh, John Cena at a point uh, getting the, uh, you know, STF onto Sheamus and the attitude adjustment too as well. Uh, the STF on Sheamus and, you know, Sheamus did tap out but uh, the referees went around to uh, check it, uh, you know, to check the tap out for the win and, uh, we have Nexus come out try to interfere in this match, and they, well, basically failed in this one. The referees are try to get them out. Uh, they tried to cut open the steel cage, but that didn't happen. Uh, one of the referees took the scissors and just ran off with it. Uh, at one point, I think one of the referees had a key too, and threw the key away, uh, so they couldn't open the cage. So they tried to climb in. Uh, when John Cena and Sheamus were about to escape. Uh, they try to attack them on uh, on top of the steel cage, have a battle there, and the Nexus trying to climb in. And it came to the end where Sheamus uh, was able to escape the cage while John Cena was still trying to escape the cage. And Sheamus is still the WWE Champion as I predicted. Uh, Sheamus retains his WWE title. So uh, that's basically it with that. Um, you know, I thought it was a good show for Money in the Bank. Uh, Kane is a new world champion. Sheamus retains. And, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen at SummerSlam. So, uh, you know, I'm going to actually be pumped for that, too. So uh, that has to do with the view for today, guys. And let me know what your thoughts on Money in the Bank. Did you guys like it or not? Drop your comments down there below. And as always, I love to hear you guys' thoughts on this. And uh, that has to do with the view for today, guys. And as always, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.